Good morning guys, Mac here. Now I've just taken a delivery. Now if it's what I think it is, I think it's gonna be something that's gonna surprise an awful lot of people, and there's gonna be a lot of interest in it. So let me get out of the box and I will see if it's what I thought it was. Ooh. Yes it is. This is a brand new 2019 MacBook Pro. Now looking at it, this is a, this isn't mine by the way, my daily driver is this one, one of the infamous i9 2018 units. We'll talk about that in a minute. So this one's a 2019, it is a eight core i9, 2.3 gigahertz, 16 gig of RAM and a 512 gig SSD. And this one's got the Radeon Pro 560 in it. I'm quite interested to see what this is gonna perform like because there's been lots of controversy around some of the Apple laptops, certainly the i9 that I use, certainly around throttle and things like that. So to give you an idea, my i9, I've got a couple of them actually, but my main i9, the problem I was having with throttling is when the machine got hot, it was actually performing way below the clock speed. So the clock speed I think is 2.9 gigahertz. Mine would drop to around 2, 2.2 gigahertz. Now Apple insisted there was nothing wrong with it, but eventually they did replace it for me. And, and the one that I've got now, the i9, it doesn't drop below that 2.9 gigahertz when it's under load. It does get hot though. But anyway, I want to see how this performs. Now, like I say, this isn't mine. I'm actually setting it up for somebody, but I'll run some base benchmarks and, and look at the throttling and, and we'll see what that's like. Now, I'll, I'll do a full review, but uh, I know there's a lot of people interested in the base performance of this. So come back later, uh, maybe towards the weekend, and I'll have a full review of this. But for now, let's just go and have a look at the benchmarks of it. So here's our machine, it's a 2019 MacBook Pro. Let's have a look and see which machine it actually is. So as you can see, it's a 2.3 gigahertz, eight core i9 with 16 gig of RAM. And I think this one's got 512 gig of SSD in it, there, there it is. Now in terms of graphics cards, uh, I'm not sure which one this is, let's have a look. So in our system report, we should be able to see under graphics and displays, you'll see that this one's got the 630 and the Radeon Pro 560 in it, which I, I believe is the base model in terms of graphics. Now, I'm not gonna do a full review because I've only just started using the machine, but I know a lot of people are interested in the, the thermals and the general benchmarking. So first, let's have a look at some of the benchmarking. So fortunately, I've got access to quite a few uh, decent pieces of Apple gear. So let's have a look at some of the relative benchmarks. This is Geekbench 4 and also Cinebench. So you'll see that the 8-core fares pretty well, certainly against the 2018 i9. The single core is a little bit less, but obviously the multi-core is higher. Now, what's particularly interesting to me is how way, well it compares with my 2017 iMac Pro. Now, that's my 8-core one, I believe. But as you can see, it's actually it performs pretty well. It also compares quite well to the six core 2018 Mac mini as well. Now, benchmarks are only half the battle, aren't they? But I, I will do a, f a full review later. But one of the things I am interested in is whether they've done anything with the throttling or the, the thermal performance. So let's go and have a look at some of that. So let me just explain what you're looking at here. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you have the 2019 MacBook Pro. And on the right, you have the 2018 MacBook Pro. Now, what I'm doing in both sessions is running some terminal commands that actually max out all of the cores. And what you should see in the Intel Power Gadget is a reference to the current operating frequency and also the temperature. Now, it's this the it's the operating frequency and the temperature that we're interested in on these things here. So to start with then, let's look at the 2018 MacBook Pro, the one on the right. Now what you'll see from a frequency point of view, it's hovering around the 2.9, 2.92 gigahertz mark. Now bear in mind this is supposed to be a 2.9 gigahertz machine. Now my previous one of this would actually drop down to around 2.2 gigahertz, so it's running below base. Now they did replace mine, and this one doesn't seem to be having the same issue. But look at that temperature there. The temperature there is averaging about 97, 98 degrees. Now, conversely, let's now jump across and have a look at the 2019 MacBook Pro. On the 2019 unit, looking at the frequency, you'll see that it, it's averaging between about a 2.7 and around a 2.9 gigahertz. Now bear in mind this is a 2.3 gigahertz machine. Now what's even more interesting for me is if you look at the operating temperatures there, bear in mind this is running at about, well, as you can see there, 98, 99% utilization at the moment. It's averaging around between the 86 and the 89 degrees in terms of temperature. So it is cooler 
than my 2018 unit. So they have done something with the thermals from what I can tell, but you know, it may be that my mind will be changed once I've used this machine for a little while. As you can see, the initial indications are, are quite a positive one. So it's a bit early to make any real conclusions from this, but just from the load testing that I've done, they, they certainly seem to have done something with the thermals. It does run cooler and it doesn't throttle back the, the clock speed anything like as much as my i9 does, but I'll do a more in-depth review potentially later in the week and I can have a look at some of the performance and see what it's like. A couple of other minor points for you, I know I get asked about them, the fans. The fans are pretty much exactly the same as my i9, I've measured them using a sound meter. They're about 48 decibels under full load, which is a little bit less than the Mac Mini. And in terms of temperature, by the way, with a measuring gun, the hottest part of the laptop from what I can see is right in the middle, is right in the middle of the screen area here and it is a couple of degrees lower than my i9. This one's hitting at about 44 degrees, my i9 hits around 46, 47. That could be ambient of course, it, it could be all kinds of things so I don't know if you can read anything from that. But I'll do a more in-depth review over the next week and uh, I'll post that up. But if you have any explicit questions drop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you.